Right now, it's time to meet our first bunch of boys. Sid Owen, Nicky Byrne and Johnny Ball. Soap star to pop star, Sid Owen has done it all. But he's best known to millions as... Ricky! People shout Ricky probably every day. I get it every day, you know, at least five times a day. Ricky! 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 Being a pop star was great, actually. I'm glad I did Top of the Pops because I'm so iconic. Let's get he can sing, he can act, but can he dance? There's your evidence. I can't really dance, so this is going to be great. I'm sort of going into this really open-minded. A few EastEnders people have done it and they've done really well, so no pressure, really. Westlife heartthrob Mickey Byrne is used to being at the top of the charts. With Westlife, we managed to have 14 number one singles and we sold 45 million records. With the number ones, I think we're only behind Elvis and the Beatles, so we got to be happy with that. But he'll be hoping his next number one isn't coming from our judges. My dance experience started when I got into Westlife, and the closest we came to dancing was probably standing up for the key change. How was your look? I was the best. I think the Westlife boys would be quite shocked. Hopefully they have their Saturday night lined up now to look at me and pick up the phone and vote. <laughs> TV presenter Johnny Ball has been teaching maths to the nation's children for almost half a century. I'm probably most famous for the programmes I did, like Think of a Number and Johnny Ball Reveals All. I said I'd need a hat when I came to England for a job, so I made myself one. 1967 was when I started here at Television Centre, which means I've been working in television 55, was it 45, 55 years. I can't do the maths, and I'm good at maths. <laughs> but can he come up with the formula for the perfect dance? I'm 74 now, which means I'm the oldest man ever on Strictly. So to be part of it is just amazing. But especially if my daughter's done it before. I'm not saying I'll get to the last three, <laughs> but I'll do my best. Sid Owen, welcome to Strictly Come Dancing. <laughs> what do you think of it so far? I'm loving it. It's, uh, it's very scary, but I've really enjoyed the sort of learning to dance. Yeah, it's well, good. it's about to get a whole lot better. Mm. Mm -hmm. Take a look at these seven beautiful dancers, Sid. Look, our lucky seven. We've got our gorgeous new girl, Karen. Natalie, Ola, Erin, Aliona, Christina, and Flavia. Right on, Sid, you will be sharing the Strictly drama with. Off you go, Sid and Ola! Oh. And welcome, Nicky Byrne! Oh. Welcome to the show. We've got a lot of fans in the audience tonight. <laughs> now then, Nicky, great having the show. We know you can put a tune together, we know you can sing, but how's your dancing? Dancing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I think it's a bit non existent, to be honest with you, but. Uh, I'll give it a go. Shall we uh, meet your lady? Yes. You ready? Yeah. Right, Nikki, your uptown girl will be. It's Karen Hauer! <laughs> Woo! High hopes for I you might too. Burn you. Oh, she's so hot. <laughs> she really might burn actually. him. <laughs> Quick, off you go, Nikki and Karen, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny Ball. Oh, 
Hi. Welcome to Straight Mary. Thank you very much. I'm absolutely overjoyed. He's been Just giddy as a kipper all day. <laughs> Has your daughter Zoe given you any tips on taking part? You know, Zoe didn't know that I was even up for it. They asked me about two months ago and we thought about it and she found out just before it got broke, it was broken in the press. What was so her reaction? she never knew. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, so my excited. God, good? She's so, oh, yeah. She's oh, happy? Yeah. Oh, oh, very much, yeah. Excellent. Well, I think you're going to have fun on this show with us, Johnny. Uh, are you ready to meet your partner? So ready. So ready. All right, then. Johnny Ball, it's time to reveal all your Strictly partner is. <laughs> Aliona Villani! Cricketer Michael Vaughan captained England to more Test match victories than anyone else in history. The Ashes 2005 was the best moment. England had won the Ashes. Australia 2-1. The country came to a standstill. It was good fun. Will the move from batsman to ballroom dancer leave him stumped? There have been other cricketers that have done Strictly over the years. Darren Goff won it. Rampakash won it. And then Phil Tufnell. He's my style of dancer. Having captain England for six years, I kind of got used to criticism. So having a few judges criticise my dancing, I'd have thought that's going to be quite easy to take. My favourite, I'll say, now is Len. Love him. Seven. Gymnast Lewis Smith won silver at the London Olympics on the pommel horse, but can he avoid a pummeling from the judges? Winning silver and bronze was massive, not just for the sport or the country, but you know, for me personally, just absolutely the best feeling I've ever had in my life. For me, especially in a sport like gymnastics, it's important to look a bit different. I've had all different types of haircuts, skinheads, afros, flats, side partings, the new undersweep. I'm sexy and I know it. Well, I've got three Olympic medals now. The next competition is Strictly. I want a gold. I'm Strictly. Help me. Telly favourite Richard Arnold has spent his entire career hobnobbing with the biggest names in Hollywood. People don't tune in for my looks, you know. In the name of breakfast television, you're asked and called upon to do all sorts of things. I'm really straining for some credibility at the moment. <laughs> I've been shamed so many times in my career. This can only be the way forward. My one and only experience of dancing was Let's Dance for Sport Relief. I was described by one of the judges as a tubby shaking Stevens. And in the national press as Reg Varney from on the buses. I'm looking forward to being part of everyone's Saturday night because ever since I was a nipper, I've grown up with Brucey on the box and a bit of shiny floor entertainment. I can't wait. Renowned actor Colin Salmon shot to fame in Prime Suspect. What the hell's going on? Mike. Before starring in countless Hollywood movies. I've been lucky enough to work with Pierce Brosnan in James Bond, Halle Berry, Dame Judi Dench, Woody Allen, Mila Jovovich. I've been a very, very lucky boy. <laughs> I think the public are used to seeing me very serious and suited and booted. <laughs> Sorry. And I'm looking forward to showing the lighter side of myself on Strictly. But can those sensible shoes do fancy footwork? I know I have rhythm, whether I can learn dance steps. That we will discover. But I promise not to do anything devious. <laughs> All right then, well lads, I'm here with one of the few England cricket captains who won the Ashes. Yes, yes Michael Ball. I'm so thrilled to meet you. Thank you. I really am. Oh, what a great <laughs> minute. Oh, I've hit the ball pretty hard for you now. But uh, cricketers, you know, have been very successful on this show. Darren Goff, Mark Rambrakash. Mm -hmm. 
Well, there's a bit of pressure there, but I, I retired from playing three years ago with a dodgy knee, and when I batted, my foot movement was terrible. Oh, yeah. So I should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But we don't have any problems. Now then, Michael, the partner, you will be bowling over. <laughs> <laughs> bowling over. <laughs> right. Is... Michael, who are you going to get? It's Natalie Lowe! Yeah. Whee! Yeah. Oh, nice ball girl! Yeah! That's it. Yeah. 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 Off you go, yeah. then, Michael. A happy yeah. boy! A happy, happy boy. boy! In you go, darling. Oh! Thanks up, Lois Smith! It's a lovely to meet you. Welcome to the show, Lois. Big cheer, big reaction. Now, then, you uh, took home a silver medal at the Olympics, of course. Have you um, set your sights on that glitter ball trophy? Do you know what? I mean, obviously, I'm going to be competitive. I've been in sport 19 years, but uh, my dance moves aren't too sharp, so uh, hopefully <laughs> I can just have fun at the minute. <laughs> All right, Lewis, the dancer that you'll be bending over backwards to please. Oh, dear. Is... <laughs> Flavia Kakache! Brilliant, amazing. Absolutely. We have high hopes for you, the dance floor, Lewis. Off you go, Lewis and Flavia, ladies and gentlemen. All right, there you go. Good. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Fine. Right. Two celebrities and two dancers remain. Colin Salmon and Rich... Oh, don't you... <laughs> Why do you creep up on me like that? Oh, I knew you'd do that. <laughs> and Richard Arnold, of course. Now then, uh, Richard, the dancer you'll be sharing all your gossip with, and you've got enough for four people. Oh, well, my... it is... <laughs> it's Erin Bogue. Oh! oh. <laughs> Yourself up if we're going out like this. Are you happy, it's, Richard? It's all going on down under. Should we do it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. On we go, Richard. We go. There you are. Here you go through that. So, Colin, that can only mean you are dancing with Miss Christina Riddle. Oh. Christina. Just wrong. Oh, what do you reckon? Do you think she'd make a good Bond girl, Colin? She'd make an absolutely spectacular Bond girl. What yes. she do? A wonderful Bond girl, yes. Off you go, get no, ready for the group dance. Thank you very much, Colin. Here you go there. Here you go. Lovely. So that's it. That is it. And what a wonderful lineup it is.